Hello, everybody, and welcome to another first look at type video. This one is on a game called Awa's Legacy, the sequel to Awa's Awakening, a game that came out like three years ago. Uh, this game was released in June of this year. It's by Elden Pixels, as you can see in the bottom of the screen. First and foremost, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Elden Pixels for the copy of the game. You can find the link of where to get it down in the description below if it interests you. Uh, obviously it is a GOG type game, or GOG pickup for me myself, that is where I received the key from. GOG fantastic, uh, digital storefront that, uh, I would highly recommend using if certain things are not available on Steam, or potentially better sales, better deals, etc, etc. Uh, GOG Galaxy is a fantastic platform as it is. Alwa's Legacy, what is Alwa's Legacy? Alwa's Legacy is a modern retro game full of dangerous dungeons, magical items, and ancient secrets. By upgrading your magic, any way forward is right in this non-linear adventure game full of exploration, directly from the store page. And if that doesn't sound familiar, it is a Metroidvania-style game, uh, in the similar way that, like, a Axiom Verge or a Hollow Knight is, uh, taking after the classic Metroid, Super Metroid, and Castlevanias. But let's just jump. Let's just let's just jump into it. I, I don't know what we're waiting for. Let's just jump into it. I've already taken a look at all my settings. Let's just jump in. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this is all about. It's been a while since I've had a good Metroidvania. I did play Alba's Awakening. I did a video on it on the uh, YouTube channel a couple of years ago. I think around when it came out, actually. And uh, unfortunately, never went back to it and never finished it. So hopefully, I can get uh, the nails of this one dug into me a little bit. Uh, it is very difficult uh, as a person in my position, and you could probably hear this from a lot of different people. Uh, finishing games nowadays is really rough to do. Am I controlling this lady? I am. Do I go downstairs? I don't. I am playing on controller for those that are wondering. You will see probably gamepad uh, keybinds or in uh, tooltips come up on the screen probably. I'm also using the D-pad because it is a 2D platformer. We have a northern lion hanging over there by the books. But first, I'm going to touch this book. Ah, Saga. I take it you've come for the book. Yes, she's about to wake up. I want her to have it as soon as she's here. I cannot say I fully comprehend its contents, but it's a doubtless offers a way... But it, it, it doubtless offers a way out? It's a weird way to word that. That's what Legend says, this time around. Let's just hope she makes the right choices. I'll send Mary to go find her. Wait a second, am I, like, coming back in time? I gotta go back and finish Always Awakening. I gotta go back and finish that, because it feels like I'm almost coming back in time to re-fix a timeline or something from what they're, what they're saying. Very well, should you need me, I'll be in Clemming's old chamber. Dude, Clemming, he's a G. He's an OG. I don't know who Clemming's is. Chapter 1, Rebirth. Aha! Yo, I was Legacy, let's go. Dude, I'm stoked. I want I want to continue playing games like this. It's unfortunate that, like, uh, standard full playthrough Let's Plays on YouTube are a dying breed. Otherwise, I would be playing through a lot more games. Uh, like, Monster Boy came out and I wanted to play through that. I own it, it's in my Steam library. Obviously, like, games like this would be amazing to play through on the channel. If you guys would love to see it... Obviously, let me know, but uh, doing like a 40-part Let's Play series is very exhausting when not a lot of people are watching it, which is kind of the issue with a lot of stuff like this. Like, one-off videos, stuff like that, views don't really matter a whole ton. But if you're doing, if you're committing to like a 40-episode month-plus long Let's Play, it starts to weigh a little bit. Hey, lady, wake up. Dude, don't call me lady, green-haired monster boy. What are you doing here by the water? Did you come on a ship? Clearly I didn't come on a ship. You see, there's mountains over there. Freaking crazy. A ship? I don't think so. So my name is Zoe. I actually don't know if the, the main character's name was Alwa in the first game. I only played it for like 45 minutes. I really do need to go back and play through that one, but I'm like, I, I hope there's no direct continuation here, and maybe I will be running into some continuity. I don't know. Where am I? You're in the land of Alwa. Ah, so it's a... <laughs> Clearly, the 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 world is called Alwa, which makes Alwa's awakening. 
Interesting, okay. Clearly, the game looks a lot more well-defined than Awakening did. Awakening was much more of a SNES, maybe even NES type of pixel art. This is more of like a high, like a softer color palette. Uh, the pixel art is much more defined, clearly. It's not as... It, 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 basically, they, they're, they're shaded better. Let's, let's just say it how it is. And they're layered better. The layers on it are a lot better. Uh, you're in the land of Awa. Here, where else would you be? Last thing I was a big chamber with an altar and a bright light coming from down from above. That doesn't make any sense. You must be really seasick or something. There's just freaking mountains over there, Mary. What are you talking about? There's mountains. I did not come off of a ship. There are fish and there are mountains. You should know this. You're the one who called it Awa. Anyway, I promise I that I let you to the Grand Library as soon as I found you. Wait, if... Okay, let me, let me, Mary, if you don't know who I am and you don't know where I came from, how are you coming to get me? Bruh, Mary's the final boss. Saga sounds familiar, do I know her? How should I know? I was told to go look for a stranger with a purple cape near the water and bring her to the library. Just up the hill from here, Saga said it was important, so hurry up. So Saga's probably my future self from the first game. I'm gonna call it now, and if I'm right, you all owe me five bucks. For some reason, there's a lot of monsters roaming about. I had to sneak past a whole bunch on my way here. You better use your staff to get into trouble. Or use your staff to avoid getting into trouble. Save point. That's clearly... Clearly an unusable. Is this death? It very well might be death. Is that me? Well, I did die. I did get an achievement for it, though. There's a lot of dead always. Yo, death counter. Look at this, though. There's a lot of dead me. That's definitely stating something here. Okay. 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 I get it. I get it. It's... Change the difficulty level by changing settings. You can be changed afterwards. Quick respawn. I actually do want quick respawn off. And I don't want to. So let, let's test it out. How does quick respawn work? Is it is it Super Meat Boy style? Let's find out. That didn't seem very quick. Wait, it didn't... It didn't turn on. What? It, it just straight up didn't turn on. Are you kidding me? Come on. Quick respawn. What? <laughs> Is my game broken? Immediately respawn after dying. That's completely not true, game. That's completely not true. And you are lying, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, we slap the boxes. There's a skeleton. It makes me really want to go back to, uh... This is gonna make a lot of people on YouTube probably mad, but... Go back to Blasphemy. I actually recorded through two or three episodes of Blasphemy and never finished it because... I took a break. I took a YouTube break, and I just ended up not going back and playing. So we got some Shovel Knight. Drop tier. What? I don't have any tiers. We got some Shovel Knight save systems. So if I just run past it... Oh, no, it's just a double save. Gotcha. This is a pushy block. This is a walkie door. And this is going to break. Thousand percent. Yep. Evil Wizard, he's going to break the bridge. I'm going to fall. This is Vicar. Persistent in returning to the lands of Alwa, are we not? I must admit that I misjudged your skill during our confrontation in the Altar of Echoes. This time, however, your endeavor is pointless. What? Have we met before? It is some kind of trickery. Nevertheless, I will not take any chances. Bridge break! Okay, my staff is gone. And the bridges? You're gonna, you're gonna do both, Mr. Vicar? You think I haven't played an RPG before? You're gonna knock my weapon away and break the bridge? Now I have no abilities? Oh my god, it's almost like it's a Metroidvania. Jesus Christ! It's, it's the most cliche game trope of all time in this in this style of game. <laughs> I have no way to attack now. Just in case anybody's curious. I, I have no way to attack.
So now I gotta go find my staff. There's a poison thing over there. It seems cool. Seems legit. I'm gonna jump on the bubbles. Yo, I can actually bubble jump. Big boy. Oh, no. Wait a second. There's no way this is not... This is, this is supposed to happen like this. Really? Come on. You're gonna soft lock me? You're actually gonna soft lock me? Bro. You're gonna soft lock me. There has to be a way. There ha there, there's no way. I have to be able to jump on it, like, right when it appears. Yeah, okay, okay, I can. I was gonna say, like, there's no way. There's no way they'd have a soft lock in the freaking tutorial. <laughs> if they did, I would I would uninstall the game and email the devs and be like, sorry, I'm not playing your game. <laughs> and then they'd be like, bruh. It do, it do be how it is sometimes. Would be a good moment to check for fall damage, honestly, but... Curiosity kills the cat. Hmm. Not today, my friend, not today. So I'm looking at the HUD. Clearly there's a health bar in the top right, but then the top left, I'm guessing, is magic bar, uh, skills, and then... The far left, I'm not entirely sure on, honestly. Okay. Yo, look at that crouching animation. Pretty sick. Good job, devs. Big old key. Door? Not a door. There's a rat down here. That rat's probably gonna kill me. I mean, you gotta go down. Hey, there's my staff. So I'm gonna come down here and then grab it. <gasps> Bro. Oh. You done did it to me. He got it. Yo, magic staff used for magical purposes with promise to ex with promise to expand its repertoire. Press X to attack enemies and inter interact with objects. Dude, we already know how to do this. We've done this. Dude, I've broken all kinds of things. Are you even kidding me? Come on. Oh yeah, I gotta probably can't get up there. Unless I were to have jumped on that box. Probably can. Hold on. Do the boxes return? Do they unbreak? They don't unbreak. Rude. Rip secrets. So is back my map button? Probably just don't have the map yet. Would be my thought here. Okay, we're down here now. That's cool. Kill the rat. Can't kill the rat. And this got to be going back to here. Yeah, this goes back to here. He set me on fire. I've taken a damage. That's unfortunate, actually. I didn't realize until just now that the health bar isn't like a... A health pool. It's actually bars. Segments. That's going to be rough. You get three hits before you die? Come on, baby. bro. Oh, that's gonna be... That's just rude. I will die. And I might be doing this wrong. I take full responsibility if I die and I'm doing things wrong. Wait, I should probably save that I have my staff. But I can't because I can't go back up, can I? Can I go back to the... Yeah, I can. Okay, okay, I can. And it heals me. Good. Okay. So why don't I come up here then? Why would I go back down if I could just come up here and do this stuff? Because this is the same place, you dumbass. Heal me! Wow, okay. Bro. 
So those aren't doors back there. Interesting. Well, nothing screams good content like exploring the exact same room three times, so let's backtrack. These games are all about backtracking. Let's backtrack. Can't open that, I don't got keys. We'll heal up. And we'll go back. Because now we can attack. We're a different, we're a changed man now. Pop a savey, and then we'll go up. Am I hanging around in that dark, damp, stupid mess? It's a Metroidvania. I know all about these games. I ain't. I don't need to go that way. I'll come back to when I can see in the dark. When I get the lantern item or whatever. Oh, I am so dumb. I totally knew where that was too. All right. It's it's literally right below the ladder. That was the most easy jump to make, and I failed it. An orb was added to your inventory. It sure looks like it. Oh, orbs. Orbs to place. What? Okay, sure. I right, collectibles. I'm gonna assume maybe. Uh, real heroes go left. It's the it's the slogan of the channel, and it's the staple of these types of games. So if there's no secret back here. You're all failures. This just goes back to the start of the game, bruh. That's actually fine. I'm assuming there's no experience in the game. It's all items and stuff, so... If I can skip enemies, skipping enemies is obviously the choice to make. Unless you just, like, unless it's just unnecessary to skip them, like it's gonna cost you health and whatnot. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a makeable jump. That is a makeable jump. That was almost, almost terrible. Excuse me? Okay, cool. I don't know what that is. But there's probably a secret up here then. Oh yeah, let's go. I was probably supposed to crush him. I was probably supposed to crush him. Let's be honest. If you drop the block on him, he 100% dies. The town of Westwood. Town of Westwood. Can we go on the roofs, I bet? We'll go up there a second. I like the bucket you're wearing, my good friend. Gurf. Hold, um, I mean, hello. Hello. You seem a little on edge. Sorry about that. I was just appointed first elevator guard, and I'm trying to live up to expectations. I don't know what this accent is. This official decree was changed recently, and I'm not supposed to let anybody up to the castle gardens unless they have a saga's permission and a proper map. That's all right. Sounds like hard work. I'm Zoe, by the way. I'm Gurf, but people call me the Dragon Fists. I, they don't really call me the Dragon Fists. I, I figured, Gurf. I figured as much. Halt, if you want to see the case, shut up. I, yeah, I need a map. That makes sense. You did just tell me I needed a map to go out there, but you know, I don't trust your game design. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Come on, I gotta talk to the fisherman. Yo, what up? Nadajin. Shush, you're scaring the fish. Who am I kidding? I've been trying to get, trying for days to catch something, but all I've gotten is a snarly temper. Dude, if I can fish in this game... This morning I hit the water, I could swear I saw something big, sh big shiver down there. I mean, absolutely, there's a secret down there. You can't fool me. There's no fooling me. This is a double jump area. I got another orb, though. Baller. Can I climb this? No, so that's a double jump. We all know about the double jump in these types of games. Can I go on the roofs? Hold on. Can I go on the roof? I can, so there's a secret over here. Dude, you cannot hide stuff from me. I'm too good. 
Maybe that wasn't a secret, but this is a blacksmith. No, oh, what up? Break your pots? No, okay. Beth. Oh, hi, nice. Nice to see a fr oh, nice to see a fresh face around here. I'm Beth, your friendly local blacksmith. In fact, the only local blacksmith. Not only guess you have an old family heirloom or of just of an axe, just begging for sharpening. No axe or anything else to sharpen. Too bad, but hey, if you need something, if you need something skilled to smithery, I've got the tools and the talent. I know my around wrought iron, tin, booleans, you name it. Interesting. Okay, so I can come back and there's got to be something with our fireplace. Once I get a fire spell, you turn you you light the fire there. Absolutely. You can't hide things from me, devs. You can't hide this design this design nonsense from me. Yeah, I kind of figured, game, but thank you for letting me know. Down and jump equals jump. Yo, I'm breaking all your barrels. You can't stop me. You hiding something? McGumphrey? Ew. Hello there, lass. Welcome to the town of Westwood. I it might not be that big, but it's our little corner of the world. Just arrived, did you? Yes, but I think I've been here before. At least it feels like it. Can't remember it, can you? Haha. <laughs> I guess it's not that memorable for outsiders then. But we town folk love it all the same. Tell you what, I'll give you this map. Maybe it'll bring some good memories. Let's see. There. I took the liberty of marking down where you've already been. How do you know where I've been, you? Oh, in the Valley of Reprisal, I got 48% of secrets. The Ancient Catacombs. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not an area. Oh my god, I can already see places that... I can already see places that are like... Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna get crazy. Metroidvanias are very special. They're very special games. Added to warp list. Then what the hell is dropped here? Oh, it's specific save points I can warp from. Okay. And then other ones I can drop tiers on for no reason. Drop it like it's hot. But why? Why would I go over here? I don't understand. What's this place? Now you look important. Wizard! You don't even get a name. We got you and Gurf, but you're just wizard? Gemstones 3, where could they be? Hey, are you alright? Gather them with glee, then come back to me. I see. Well, you're a swell fellow. I appreciate your patronage and your time. So then over here is nothing. Not a damn thing. Okay, let's go up. I know we gotta go back to Gurf. This Gurf is like, hey, you need a map. And I'm like, I, I know I need a map, Gurf. Is there some up here? Really? That would have been such a great place for a secret. Is this a pillar I can't pass? No, it is. I can go through here. Cool. What's over here? Grand Library. Okay. Is this a spooky? It seems a spooky. Oh, it seems a big spooky. Okay. Wait, no, that's Sage. Or Saga. Welcome to the Grand Library, where the knowledge of Alwa has been gathered for ages. Are you Saga? That kid said you wanted to talk to me. I'm so happy that Mary found you before something had happened. Just barely, I ran into a mage with creepy eyes. He wasn't making any sense before I knew it. He knocked me my staff right out of my hand. I must have passed out, and when I woke up, he was gone. I was afraid of this. His name was Vicar, and he's the only thing standing in our way of returning home. Until confrontation is necessary, you must do everything you can do to avoid him. Necessary? Trust me, I'd be happy to never see him again. Home. Yes, I need to get back home. Why can't I remember? Everything's just a blur. It will get clearer, trust me. Now please accept this book. It will be of great guidance. The Book of Terra Ignoct Incogni Ign Incognita. I've said that word a thousand times in my life, but when I try to read it, brain melts. Shapes the past, present, and future of Alwa. Every time you defeat a demon, a new page gets added to your book. That seems pretty dope. Pages are all blank. You'll soon see that the story writes itself as you go along your adventure. So it's a bestiary. 
Three magical gemstones are spread across Alwa. Each holds significant information that will help you regain your memory and return home. If that's what I need to do, where do I start? I admire your valor. Now go first. Your first undertaking will be to defeat the demon of the Rose Castle. Don't worry, I'll mark it down for you. Use the elevator at the edge of town to reach the castle gardens and follow the map. Oh, he's up there. He's up there. He's all kinds of big, big up in the sky. And I can't do any of this until I have the ability to ram the, the wood blocks. Interesting. Okay. 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 I'm digging the map. I'm digging the art style. I always... I'll never get over the fact that Metroidvania cities are the silliest looking things in the world. These places look so dumb. And that's not like I'm not, I'm not making fun of the designers or anything. Of course, they're absolutely incredible for the, the type of game this is. But... No one looks at a city in a Metroidvania and says, Oh yeah, that city would be great in real life. <laughs> they all look just so ramshackled and like wooden planks just leaning up against stuff. It's like, why is that there? Ah, but because I need to put a thing on top of it. Alright. Clearly there's a hut here. This hut has a... Ronald! Jean-Baptiste. My, what a splendid day to be alive. Can you feel it too? Of course you can. You know what w would make it even better? Why, petals, of obviously. I simply adore them. Are you the gardener here? Tisk tisk. Do I look like a chef? Of course I'm the gardener. I didn't say you were the chef, Jean-Baptiste. Bruh, you know what? I'm skipping your dialogue, because you're an ass. Screw you. I'd rather you be a chef, because then you could, you know, handle the roasts that I'm dropping you. You friggin' weirdo. I like rose petals. What a nerd. Alright, so we've got some cheap cheeps that are shooting out fire at us. Can I do this? Okay, so you can't crawl. You can duck, though. Interesting. I'm assuming fire gets stopped by that. Fantastic. I gotta say, I'm digging the music. Oh boy. I'm digging the music, but I will say I wish it stuck out more than it currently does. I feel like the music is not as bright and invading as some of the other games that I've played, like uh, especially like Axiom Verge. And that's not a negative to the game, it's a good backdrop. It, it should not invade my ears in a game like this. I should be more focused on like the gameplay, but... Durable, like precious jade, press B to materialize solid magical blocks. Because it uses... Okay, so it uses magic for me to... It uses one magic for me to do that, and my mana regens really quickly. No, bruh. Interesting. But why would there be a save point there? Ah. Ah, only one at a time. Makes sense. You're ahead of everything, my friends. Bro. <laughs> I'm at 1 HP. I can't make it up there anyway because I don't have the uh, the smashy boy. I, I can't make it through walls yet. Okay, you're coming to life, like a thousand percent. There's no way you can tell me otherwise. So we're about to die, even though I just got HP. My eye itches. Oh my lord. Oh, I didn't even. I was looking at the. I was looking at the birds. Oh, I was looking at the birds. Boy, oh boy, I was looking at them birds. Doing their thing. But oh, you're coming to life, aren't you? You aren't coming to life. You could surprise me. You're coming to life. Yeah. <laughs> you can't fool me. Get wrecked. Let's go up. Ooh, okay, well, it's a save point. 
Ooh, and that goes to a castle. So there's there's got to be something down here then, right? That's this guy's garden. This does not seem like a thing I need to be here yet. I don't need to be here yet. I'm pretty convinced. It looks to be like at least... At the very minimum, two power-ups that I don't have for there. Enemies seem to drop health pretty infrequently, but when they do, I'm happy about it. I wish there was a way to store HP. Maybe there is later, I'm not sure. So that must be the- yeah, that has to be the tier... ...to drop into the- into the- the, the save point. Bro. I see you up there, secret thing. What? But why? Can you own what? Uh, what? I losing my mind. Dude, I gotta be losing my mind here, right? What? I can't just be dumb here, right? I can't just be dumb. Does this guy push the freaking block? Yo! <laughs> Big brain moves. My beard won't stop itching, man. Let's go. I might actually have to stop at the next save point, unfortunately. Even though we're just start we're just starting to freaking light this game up. What is that? I gotta find out what- ah, I wanna know what that is, and this looks like- That- that over there is definitely a ladder that you can, uh, unlock access to throughout this dungeon. Dude. Unfortunately... So there's only three gemstones I get. Interesting. And there's four abilities. And ten items, as well as this book. And the book... ...is just empty for now. Tears, petals... And keys to unlock stuff. Okay. Okay, this song is pretty dope. This this dungeon is pretty dope, the song. But dudes, unfortunately, that's gonna be it. We haven't even seen a boss or anything, but that's gonna do it for the first look video. I know it's been pretty uh it seems like it's only been it's been short, but it's been 30 30 over 30 minutes now, so I think this is a good stopping point at the start of the dungeon. I'd like to keep playing this more, be it on stream in my own time or on videos, but uh, if you enjoyed the video, of course, slap the like button and comment down below. Do all those things. And, of course, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. My name is Penta Hybrid. I stream on twitch.tv slash Penta Hybrid. And I also do videos here. So if this is your kind of tea, I'm sure you're going to like everything else I do. And I would appreciate the support. But without further ado, that was Alba's Legacy. Again, thank you very much, Elden Pixels, for the chance to play the game. There will be more content on it, I'm sure. And uh, until then... For the rest of your day, guys. Catch you later.